Psalms chapter 34. Verse 3. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord. And he heard me. And delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him. And were lighted. And their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried. And the Lord heard him. And deliver him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver them. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. But guys, for people here, forbear. Yeah, just a quick testimony. The name of the Lord is most definitely a strong tower. Um, I was cooking um, yesterday after the Sabbath, last night after the Sabbath. And I heard something pop. Just a quick testimony. Of the Lord just delivering us, man, out of all type of situations. And I heard something pop. And I, was, I was thinking it was probably a possum up under the crib to maybe hit some up under the crib. But it was actually uh, my hot water heater, you know what I'm saying, started leaking and all that. And, and water was gushing, man. Water was gushing all throughout the kitchen. Isaiah 33 and 6. This wisdom kept me stable. This knowledge kept me stable. This understanding kept me stable. The average person would have started bugging the hell out. Water skeeting everywhere. Now the Lord had me calm, cool, and collective. I went through the proper procedures. Called who I needed to call. The fire truck got here in less than five minutes. Man, that's your howl about how shimmy I was shine. The fire department got here less than five minutes, man. You know, that's pretty much unheard of. For you to call the fire department, that's how you know five minutes later it come in, and then when the fire truck pulled up, it had the number seven on it. The Lord saved my crib, you know what I'm saying, from being flooded out last night, man. I would have I would have been I would have had to be um displaced and all that, man. Could have flooded out the whole crib. But the Lord heard my cries, the Lord heard my prayers. And delivered me from that situation. The fire people got here in less than five minutes, turned off the water. And when they turned off the water, the um the hot water heater, it, it stopped leaking water instantly. Just like that, man. And that was all through the spirit of your how about Shimmy, I was shy. Just, just a quick um testimony of how the Lord just delivered us. Here's our prayers. I mean, can't can't say enough. Can't thank Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai enough. I left me speechless. Le left me just speechless, man. I just I just woke up just thanking the Lord when to sleep. Just uh, we constantly just thank you how about Shimmy I shot for everything, man. And we constantly pray that we're forgiven for our wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings on this side and and um our former lives, man. But just just, just a quick testimony of how you how about Shimmy I shot delivered me again. Did didn't have to. I'm not worthy of it. I, I didn't deserve it. But the Lord thought enough upon me to show me that mercy and I'm thankful for it. And Lord willing, the Lord will continue to show us mercy. The whole full leg. That's why we constantly pray for each other each and every day. You never know what a brother's going through. You never know what a sister's going through. So we pray for each other. Let's get it again. Son, you know what I'm saying? I, look, just a quick testament. I, I had to bring it out this morning. The Lord delivered my crib from me and flooded the hell out, Israel. And the Lord can either make the ambulance get there, make the fire truck get there, make the police get there, or not. Or not. Psalm chapter 34, verse 3. Oh, magnify Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai with me. Confess the Lord, uplift the name of the Lord, exalt the name of the Lord. And it's only begotten son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Daily, daily. And let us exalt his name. See, there it go, there it go. That strong tower. And let us exalt his name together. 
They give a faith, man. Man, the Lord delivered me in the minute. Five minutes, Israel. Five minutes. And the number five represents power. And then, and then the fire truck pulled up with the number seven on it. I sought the Lord. And he heard me. That's why it's time to seek the Lord while he may be found. And deliver me from all my fears. Because, of course, I was nervous a little bit. You got water skeeting everywhere, you know, coming all on the kitchen floor. So I was kind of nervous or whatever, but the Lord kept me to the point to why I didn't panic. I went and grabbed my phone and dialed the numbers, called my landlord. Then the landlord gave me the number to call, and I called that number. And, and, uh, and you know, you got to talk to the, uh, the fire department or whoever, you know, the dispatcher or whatever, calmly, and tell them what's going on. Give your name, blah, 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 address and all that. And you still got to remain calm, well, calm while water is just skeeting everywhere. The Lord delivered me out of all my fears. They looked into him and were enlightened. And their faces were not ashamed. What out of shame to confess Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah? And look, the Lord just had me do a lesson the other night about how He controls everything. You calling those, you Israelites out there that's calling on them other gods, them idols. It's, it's not gonna work, my man. It's not, it's not gonna work out for you real good. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him. This poor Israelite man, woman, and child called upon Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And he heard him, man, and saved him out of all his troubles. And the only thing I could think of was a, 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 another one. Deliver me from another one. He, look, they delivered me from another one. Kalhalayim la, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Delivered me from another. He showed me mercy again. Didn't have to. The Lord don't need me. I go through this all the time. The Lord put that spirit on my head all the time, that thought, I don't need you. I don't need you. So, so I know that I understand that clearly. The Lord don't need us. We need Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. The angel of the Lord kept it round about him, about them. They fear him. They fear him. Then you got guys still, you got men and women still coming on, Israelites still coming on the coming board. So I'm saying, why should we fear why should, why should we be afraid? Because the Lord can make some things happen in your life that you can't deliver yourself out of. And you go, every knee is going to bow. You got these proud Israelites walking throughout the four corners of the earth. Proud as hell. Like, like they're waking themselves up each and every day. Like they delivering themselves from different situations. No, it's, it's the Lord. Like they made themselves rich. Nah, man. I want to get this Sirach right quick. Just something quick through the spirit. Oh, man, we got a wonderful power you have. By Shemel Shai Israelites, we got a wonderful power, man. Praise the Lord, man. Let's get this Sirach. Sirach chapter um, 11. And, and 14. Let's just get this. Sirach chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity and adversity. See that? You having some things, or you catching prayer hell, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. The Lord had me bring the scripture out pretty much um, at least once or twice a week. Because the Lord controls every aspect of our lives, whether we're up, whether we're down, whether we're sick, whether we're healed. Whether we get delivered from certain situations, either the car crash or, or my kitchen being flooded the hell out. And the only place water got no say was in the kitchen. If the Lord wanted to, he could have flooded the whole damn crib, man. And I would have had to be displaced. I would have, been, I would have either been in a hotel right about now or at a brother crib. Like, damn. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me for all my wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings. I pray that every day. And then most definitely we pray in Psalms 51, 10, and 11. Take not that Holy Spirit away from me. The, the Israelites that don't turn back, you're going to get caught up in some situations. You're not going to, you're going to call on the Lord and he's going to ignore you. He's going to bring evil upon you. And look, look, and you ain't going to be able to escape and throw you cry to him. He's not going to hear you. The Lord heard me last night, man. And the Lord heard some of you Israelites that was going through whatever you had to go through. The Lord heard, don't doubt. Do not doubt the Lord for, for a second. Don't doubt Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai for a second, Israel. 
Remember, we got help from on high. The angels, man, it kept round about us. And deliver us out of all our troubles. I, I, I'm going to get this right quick, man. Yeah, Israelites playing around with the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That we need that name. I sure enough needed that name last night. Proverbs chapter 18. Every day. Psalm chapter 18. And just think if I won't hear it. The Lord put it on my spirit to just be at home, with which I was going to be at home. It was right after the Sabbath anyway. So, you know, you won't really do nothing anyway. But just the fact of um, the Lord put it in my spirit not to go out of town, to go fellowship with a brother and things of that nature. Just to be, just be at home. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower in all caps. Yahweh, though his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. And you got Israelites playing around with the name of the Lord. Come on, man. The name is a strong tower. I call on that name. Five minutes, Israel. Five minutes. The, 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 the fire truck was at the crib in less than five minutes. And then the fire, and then the Lord headed to where the fire truck pulled up like a smooth, like a smooth operator, man. No sirens, no flashing lights, not all that noise. The Lord was like, yo, this is between me, you, and the fire department. That's how I looked at it. And one of those neighbors peeping all out the window, coming all outside, trying to figure out what the hell going on. That the fire truck pulled up like a smooth criminal, Israel. Did what they had to do, and they, they left, man. Came and stopped the problem, and I, I used some towels or whatever to soak the water up, man. Dude, look, man, I sat my ass down and just, I just, just thinking the Lord all night. And so I went to sleep. Left me speechless. Psalms 145. Psalms 145 and 18. I, 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 mean, I can read this whole chapter, man. But I'm pressed with time. I got to head out and get this daily bread. Lord's will. Lord's will on everything, Israel. The Lord's delivering each and every last one of us out of all kind of dangers every day. Things that we don't even see we're being delivered from. All right? Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities. We, we fighting demons all throughout the night. We got them guardian angels, man. The water you have, but she may have for a guardian angel, man. The water, man. Them guardian angels will be hearing our prayers. They send the prayers up to Lord Yahweh Shai. Lord Yahweh Shai, send them. Look right at the Heavenly Father, the Most High Yahweh. That's it, you know. It happened quick. Quick. Hey, where am I at, man? Psalms 145. Psalms chapter 145. Oh, sorry, man. It's so, I'm going to read something. The Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, is good. Verse 9. The Lord is, is good to all. And his tender mercies are over all his works. The tender mercy, man. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord. And thy saints, which are the Israelites, shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power and talk of the power. That's the only thing we do is talk about the power of the Lord, the power of the Lord, man, that true power, true power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts, man. Them different testimonies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, will it be known the mighty acts of the Lord and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall, and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. The eyes of all the, the eyes of all wait upon thee. Thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand. And satisfies the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways. The Lord don't make mistakes. He's perfect in everything that he does. The Lord, all caps, the Most High Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, is righteous in all his ways. And holy in all his works. 
The Lord is nigh unto them that call upon him. It's near to all of those that call upon him. This ain't no joke to us, man. And to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desires of them. He will fill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserve all them that love him. What is love? Keeping the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability, rehearsing the righteous acts. That's how you show the Lord that you love him. But all the wicked will he destroy. Just a quick test I'm running through the spirit. I wish I could bring out more. Remember, he chose the poor, rich in faith. This poor man cried because a rich man ain't crying unto the Lord. That's why I always quote, you know what I'm saying? We either read, um, what is it, Proverbs, the 30th chapter, verse 8. Give me neither poverty, 8 through 10. Give me neither poverty nor riches. You're too rich, you deny the Lord. You're too poor, you steal and deny the Lord. Give us the things that are convenient for us. We need the Lord, man. Yeah, just, just a quick testimony. I'm about, I'm about to roll out. Just a quick testimony through the spirit of you have by Shimei I, I, I One more. I got one more, then I'm gone. Because I got to roll out. I, I barely could sleep last night just thinking about just praising the Lord, man. Bar barely could sleep just thinking about just praising the Lord all, all night, man. Just, that's that's the, basically all that's always on my mind. Praising the Lord. We need him each and every day. Don't a day go by. First Peter chapter three. I make this my last one because I, I got the roll. First Peter chapter three, verse 12. And it reads for the eyes of the Lord, which are the angels, the chariots. Chariots be actually hovering over our houses and our apartments or wherever brothers stay at. All night. All night long. You got chariots hovering over your crib. Zooming past. You got that guardian angel inside your crib. The eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, Baha Shimia, which are the angels, are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. Constantly. That's why I don't pray. That's why my prayer got answered so fast. Five minutes, Israel. Never seen a never seen a fire truck or an ambulance or a police car get to somebody's crib less than five minutes. Five minutes. So I hung over the phone. Five minutes later, here they come. What the hell? With a seven on that fire truck. And then number five, once again, represents power. The Lord showed me his power once again, which he shows me that each and every day. Faith, man. Faith in the Lord. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Me and the brother Kabbalah was talking about that the other night in a live stream. The Lord can either make the ambulance or the fire truck get there, or he can let your shit burn the hell down, man. So yeah, just a quick testimony of how, how good the Lord is, man. Be thankful for the ups, the downs, the rounds, the rounds, the highs, the lows. All of it is part of our story. Matter of fact, I do got one more. What is it? I'm so rock. I do got one more. So rock, what is it? 16. Let's get this. So rock chapter 16. Um, yeah. So rock chapter 16, verse 11. Now, if there be, if now, if there be one stiff neck among the people, hard headed, just won't listen. It, of the Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, it is marvel if he escape unpunished. You be amazed if that is like uh, goes unpunished. Because remember, because sentence against an evil work isn't executed speedily, it's fully set in, in Israel's mind, the, the, the wicked of our people, to continue to do wickedness. They ain't trying to repent. The Lord said, marvel if that is like go unpunished. For mercy and wrath are with him. Mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. Perfect balance. Perfect balance. You see, as his mercy is great, so is his correction also. He judges a man according to his works. 
He judges a man according to his works. Yeah, just a quick testimony of the Lord delivering the crib from being flooded the hell out, man. I mean, you can't can't thank the Lord enough, man. It just just left me speechless, man. Yeah, it just left me speechless once again. The wonderful acts of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Just a quick testimony. I know each and every last one of us got testimonies. I, I just want to give that one. Lord willing, uh, it is for the elect of the nation of Israel, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel anyway, man. Continue to pray to the Lord. Continue to believe in the Lord regards of people here for a bear. Our power, Shalom.